Hi, welcome back for real time manual testing interview questions part five. Already we discussed 50% of questions in manual testing. The remaining questions we'll see now. What is non reproducible defect? How do you deal with non reproducible defect? If I ask the question like, what is non reproducible defect? Most of the interviews students are going to say that defects which are not identified during retesting those who are going to call non reproducible defect if what is reproducible defect means the defect which you identified during retesting that is called reproducible defect that is not correct if you observe the defect template so first time while well, defect report itself they are going to ask that is that reproducible yes or no we have to specify okay so now try to understand what is the meaning of non-reproducible defect. If we found a defect, then again we need to confirm whether it is able to reproduce before going to log. If the same defect was not able to reproduce in the same version of build, same version of build, then it is considered as non-reproducible defect. There is a reason. So better always maintain the screenshots as a proof and provide it along with the defect. Screenshot. How do you take the screenshot of the defect? You can use print screen in your keyboard or you can use the snipping tool also we can use. Here two scenarios are going to get the non-reproducible defect. A scenario one, if the bug is not reproducible at test environment. How we are going to deal with this situation means you need to work with the same build in which the issue is report, reported and make sure that the whole environment is in sync with the environment in which the issue is occurred. The other scenario here bug was not reproducible by developers environment. So then try it in testing environment if it is still not able to reproduce in test environment then try to show the screenshot as issue is there while doing our testing generally this type of non-reproducible defects when we are going to get miss when there is a conflict in the versions or if same someone upload the new version files without following the process there are scenarios we are going to find this kind of non-reproducible defects. The versions conflict can be or uh, someone uploading the new version files without following the process. How do you coordinate QA team progress with a broader team? I should do QA trials or weekly status call with the QA team, developers, business analyst product or business teams i will discuss all my open questions and get clarification from product team and get them documented so i will say someone is going to schedule but as a lead as i have said that i schedule a queue try as weekly status call but as a test engineer we are going to participate in the queue try as meeting where we are going to discuss the what are the doubts we have in the requirements so that we are going to question and get the clarification from product team and get them documented. When do you think testing team will involve software development process? Why? QA team should be involved as early as possible. This will make us understand the application better because you may have sufficient time so you can understand the application better way also help us to suggest some potential issues that might arise with the design plan this saves a lot of time for the development if qa engineer is occupied with the multiple projects in case qa engineer is occupied with the multiple projects then he can be involved after development phase that is a very rare cases one person is not going to associate with the multiple projects and we can say other thing so early stages when QA team testing team is going to involve there's another question 
when do you think testing activity should start in software development process so when do you think testing activity should start testing activities also should start early stage of development activities why means so early stages identify defects will take the less cost to resolve those defects and the testing the testing team in this question i'm mainly i'm asking the testing team how do you deal when developer is not accepted your defect it must be because you or him have misunderstood the requirements tester may misunderstood the requirements wrong test cases you may prepare so because of that you got some deviation in this case you can send an email to product team with the actual behavior and asking them if it is correct or not or not accepted so now you identify you understand some requirements again you have to recheck the your test case and again you have to go for the requirements review then you have to test it still they are not accepting you have to raise the issue to the your product team or production team you can intimate it is you can bring this up to a qa trias or stand up meetings and if required share your screen and ask business users or business analyst whether it is right or wrong have you involved in production release validations production release validations as i do take part in production validations i came up with a list of test cases that i want to perform that day and post install i will execute them i will share test results once i complete my task what is test environment what are the different environments in your product company test environment also called as staging environment test environment is a setup of software and hardware on which i performed my test execution activities similarly my company has developed in environment ut environment and production environment there are the different kind of environments you are going to find for a project okay when sdlc will end for a project when software development life cycle will end for a project or this is another question direct question is when do you think maintenance is not required for a project when do you think maintenance is not required for a project when project is no longer in use when project is no longer in use then only sdlc will end for a project that is a when maintenance is not required what do you mean by production stability what do you mean by production stability production stability is to make sure we don't have any issues to the code that we signed off that we signed off that we which are we given we are say sign off say that there are no defects identified so our goal as a test engineer my goal is always to maintain 100% production stability so for that i prioritize my qa task in such a way that my primary focus is to maintain product production stability and it is never affected defects in the software how are you priority and severity defined so how will you provide priority and severity for the defect the severity for a defect is given based on seriousness of the defect and the priority is given based on importance of the functionality in which we identify defect see the two things priority severity severity always we are going to provide based on how much impact the defect is taking for the test cases execution activity but the priority so how much important functionality we identify defect based on we give the priority this defect parameter will help to know which defect need to 
pixel first. What is the difference between priority in test cases and priority in bugs? Priority we are going to see in test case as well as in our bug reporting time also. Priority in test case. Priority for a test case we can provide are derived based on importance of the functionality with respect to client business needs. That means which functionality validation purpose we are writing the test case. That functionality how much important with respect to client business needs based on the, we give the priority. Based on priority, we can select test cases for execution where this is there is no time to execute all the test cases. What is the advantage of this priority means when we don't have the sufficient time to execute all of our test cases, then based on this priority, we can select the test cases, we can go for the execution. Priority in bug. Priority is given based on importance of the functionality in which we identified a defect. It describes how soon that defect has to be fixed. So priority in test case will help us how much important this test case for execution. But a priority in defect is our bug it says that how soon the defect has to be fixed. So generally developers will give priority for a defect during trias review on defects. Who is going to give the priority for the defects means during trias meeting developers are going to give the priority. What is end-to-end -end scenario testing? What is end-to-end -end scenario testing? Mm -hmm. So sometimes we may going to see that E to E, e, to e testing also end-to-end -end testing. In this test, we valid application from login session to logout session, complete transaction flow. From login session to logout session, complete transaction flow. If I go for an example here, end-to-end -end verification of a Gmail account will include the following steps. Launch a Gmail login page through URL. Logging into Gmail account by using valid credentials. Accessing inbox, opening a read and unread mails, composing a new mail, replay or forward an email. So opening sent items and checking mails, checking emails in the spam folder. Logging out of Gmail application by clicking log out. That means my here complete transaction flow we are going to verify. When we are going to log in session to log in, the related functionalities also we are going to check. This is what the end to end scenario testing. End to end scenario testing we are going to see. What is localization testing? Also called as L10 N testing. Also called L10 N testing. Here 10 is representing number of characters between L and N, not number of languages. Verify application supports domestic or local languages and a culture based on client requirements. Checklist for localization testing, date, and a time formats including numeric formats currency used keyboard uses sorting aligning and collating data color schema symbols and icons these are the things these are the things which are going to verify next one what is internationalization testing the I-18 and testing also we are going to get. Here also the 18 representing number of characters between I and N. Verify application supports international languages, currency, time, and date format, etc. Example, if I go for go to meeting dot in online meeting application, should support some of the international languages and also currency because across the global they are going to use so localization internationalization testing there's other thing called globalization testing globalization testing 
it is a combination internationalization testing as well as globalization testing if i go for google.com so it is going to use anywhere google.co.in in india google google.us you type google.com by default based on your country it comes like that google.co.in in india in the uk means google.uk it going to comes to you like this so subscribe my channel madhukar qit whatsapp number if you need any training on testing text me 9848761579 thank you